All right, so let's start. Module one, we will have total six modules this semester. So module one, title, basic concepts and programming basics. We need to do programming projects. So, you know, uh, basically web programming, web technology projects. Part A, overview and the programming basics. 8.0, explanation of syllabus. Okay. So let's start. All right. First, the content of this class a little bit overview, yeah. So four parts. The first part, fundamentals of database, basic concepts. Yeah. So we need to start from the very beginning about the database concepts. Yeah, that's the first part one. Part two, that's the main part of this class, the major part of this class. Queries, database queries. So we will spend a lot of time, yeah. Uh, approximately one half of this class, we will spend on the database query part. Yeah. And for the query part, we have two subparts. The first one, basic query. Yeah. Basic, simple, basic, yeah. but the second part, complex queries, complex queries. Yeah. Relatively complicated, yeah. so pretty hard. Yeah. So usually you need to spend a lot of time to find a solution, yeah. but we need to go through that part. So these two parts. All right, that's the part two. Yeah. Part three, algorithms, data structure for performance. You need to understand how things work behind the scene. Yeah. Because we know the databases are very important for the business. Yeah. Most of the you know, serious business rely on database. Yeah. So there is a very important consideration, performance. When you build your business on large database, large amount of data, how to get a very fast performance? There are some important algorithms behind it. Yeah, so this part, part three, we need to learn those main algorithms. We may not go through a lot of details, but you need to know what's the main ideas to get data access very fast. Yeah, so that's the part three, okay? Right. Part four, another, useful, interesting part for the current technology. Part four, NoSQL database, non-traditional database. Yeah. So the first three parts, what we are doing here, we call the traditional database. <laughs> traditional. Okay. Traditional Actually, that's the relational database. So what's the traditional? Relational. Databases. Yeah, it's dominant. This type of database is dominant, the current business, but in recent years, 
a new type of database related to social networking becomes more and more important. That's the non-traditional databases. Another word, no SQL, no SQL. Yeah. I will explain that. In our module one basic part, yeah, I will explain the idea. And I like to, I like to squeeze, find some time so we learn one special example of this database. That's the MongoDB. So I try to talk about that. MongoDB, yeah. All right, so actually, because that part of the material, not in our textbook. So I use this website, W3Schools. Yeah. I highly recommend this website, W3Schools because it's a very user-friendly website for beginners. And it covers most of the popular technologies, large number of different technologies, and most of them very popular. Yeah. So, so for the supplementary material related to web technologies, I will go there. I also, I get material from there and so you you can see my material you just go to their website you can see my material easily yeah so but i organize them so i organize the material so i put in my notes so yeah, yeah. all right and for this part of four mongodb there is a tutorial section in w3 schools yeah. not very long Pretty compact. Yeah, that's enough for this class because we just want to get a, some basic understanding from this MongoDB. Yeah. Yeah. But we also, we may like to, you know, do some hands on. Yeah, do some hands on practice on this MongoDB. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I do not plan to assign you normal project, yeah. but an optional project is possible. Yeah. I may create a simple optional project. So if you want to practice a little bit, so you can do some simple optional project to earn some extra credit. Yeah. So that's yeah, but otherwise, yeah, because the reason I don't want to give you too much work, too much work in this class, I already plan to give you three programming projects. That's quite a lot. Yeah, so if you, I give you number four, that's too much, all right? So I set this topic as optional project. You do not have to do it, yeah, but if you do it, Definitely the experience using this kind of non-traditional databases, very useful for you, for your own experience. That's my plan. Yeah. All right, so let's, any question, just ask directly. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, so next slide, main coursework. Yeah. All right. The first type, Homework assignments, 30%, three homework assignments. Theoretical questions, basically check your understanding. Yeah, so the type of questions, uh, multiple choice, true and false, and short answers. No essay questions, okay? No long essay questions. Short. Simple, yeah, but mainly for your understanding. But after that, remember, I emphasize that database queries. So one of the three, homework assignment number two, I mainly, I want to do 
focus on database queries. Database queries, the whole assignment, yeah, mainly for database queries. You need to have plenty of exercise to get experience. So a home assignment number one, number three, concepts. Theory, understanding, but number two, queries. Yeah. All right, so, and uh, each assignment, 25 questions. And uh, I give you, I give you, about two weeks, that's a quite a lot, two weeks duration. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to give you plenty of time, yeah. about two weeks for each assignment, 25 questions. Yeah, okay, all right. So that's the type one coursework. Type two quizzes, quizzes. I will give you five, total five quizzes. All right, yeah. So the quiz is, you can treat as short assignment. Homework assignment, you can treat as long assignments. 25 questions, long assignments. Each question, four points. So the total, 100 points. Yeah. But for the quizzes, each one, 10 questions. Total, 40 points. Each one also four points, total. 40 points, okay, yeah. And for the duration, I give you a little more than one week, one week. Mainly, the questions are designed, all check the understanding, but to push you study the materials, you need to, you need to before you, you can do it, you need to be familiar with our notes, the materials. So you need to take some time studying, okay? Yeah. So 10 questions each. Yeah. And the, these quizzes, I will use Canvas quiz tool to run it. For the homework assignments, I post the PDF files. So you need to work on, you know, PDF files. Two ways you can choose. One, you print out, you write your answers on the paper, you turn it in, I grade it on paper, that's one type. Another, electronically, you just download the PDF file, you use some software, or, or sometimes some students just type the answers, you know. You know electronic way. So you sub submit your assignment electronically. So then I do grading on your electronic assignment. Yeah. So two different ways you can choose. Which one is good for you? You feel more convenient? Yeah. All right. But for quizzes, that's different because I use the Canvas quiz tool and I enter the answers when I make those questions. So it does the automatic grading. Just compare your answers with mine, you know, then you see the result immediately. After you submit, you see, you know, what percent. You see your score immediately. Yeah. By, but I allow you to draw two lowest scores. Total five scores, you can drop two lowest. Yeah. We just take the highest three, then each one 4%. Total 12%. So your quiz part, total 12%. All right, so that's the type two quizzes. Type three, three programming project, 
30 percent. Distribution, 8 percent, 10 percent, 12 percent. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. For the programming projects, yeah. each programming project, I give you four weeks. I hope you have enough time, each one. Duration, four weeks. Yeah, hope it's, yeah. Four weeks, even that, officially four weeks, yeah. Officially four weeks. Yeah, but I, I allow late submission. I allow late submission, okay, yeah. So give you some, a little more flexibility. Yeah. But I encourage you turn in on time, then I can give you extra credit. Yeah. yeah. So try try to turn in on time, then I can give you extra credit. Yeah. In case you're very busy, you need to use a little more time. Yeah. So then I allow you to do that. Yeah. Because I want everyone in this class, you go through all three projects. Yeah. I do not want you, you know, skip one or two. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. So I try to reduce the pressure. Yeah. We know a lot of pressure because you may have several other classes. You have many projects, right? You may have a lot of pressure. Yeah, I can understand that part. So then here, the only thing I can help you, just give you a little more time, okay? Yeah, all right. Three programming projects, yeah. The first one, I will start the first one quickly. Otherwise, we won't have that much time. So we will start project one in our week number three. Later, I will run the timeline. Yeah. I will run the timeline of the whole semester. We will see in each week what assignment I will post. I try to follow that timeline as close as possible. Yeah. So our first programming project will be at week number three. Yeah. Then I'll give you four weeks to make it. Then, project number two, number three. But for project one, assigned at week number three, at that time, we won't be able to learn database query part. Yeah, because in order to learn database queries, we need to do a lot of preparation. We need to learn a lot of basic concepts before we can getting to the database queries. So it takes some time, okay, yeah. So at week number three, we're not ready to do projects using database queries, okay. So our first project number one, I mainly, I do not use database. We're not ready, yeah. So we just practice web technologies. The web technologies that we need to use for this class. So we focus on that part. Yeah. I do not know your background on web technologies for this class. I do not check it. Yeah. Before, some years before, I give some quiz type questions. You know, give you some basic web technology questions. <laughs> then I want to see how much basic web technology knowledge do you have. <laughs> this semester I won't do that. Yeah. Yeah. But I may like to help you a little bit. Yeah. Based on my experience, some of the students, not all, some of the students in this class 
they may not have a lot of background in web technologies. Although for the prerequisite, you need to go through our 3010. Yeah, 3010, that knowledge is enough. Okay, you need to go through that. But still, based on my experience, some students still not quite ready for web projects. Yeah. So I need to help you a little bit. Yeah. So every, each class, I may give you some examples. I may, I may spend 10 something minutes to explain some special technologies and some examples. Yeah. The materials, I just use the W3 schools. That part should be enough, okay? I do not need to use some deep advanced web tenant, no, no, basic. Simple, basic, that's enough, W3 school level. So you, you can imagine, not very complicated, okay? Yeah, yeah. But for the first project, we do warm up, warm up. Yeah, well, get it ready. Yeah. And you need to install software. It takes some time to install software. Yeah. So, yeah. So, when you do that, you can work on this web programming project. Yeah. Even without software, you, you, you can do the work. Even without software, you can, without any specific software, you can do your work, okay? You can run parallel, yeah. That's the reason I start the first project as early as possible. Week number three, I need to give you some simple examples. Yeah. Otherwise, I can give you a week number one, that's too early, right? So I delay it to week number three, so I can give you several simple examples, technologies I may need to use in the project, related examples. So yeah, week number one, week number two, you can see a few, some examples. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. all right, programming project. Then second one, third one, then you need to do database queries. We need to practice, we need to. The second one, probably we just use, do some simple database queries. Yeah. Third one, we do a little more complex database queries, yeah, but not too complicated. Yeah. Just a little, little harder database queries, so three projects, okay? Yeah, all right, yeah. Then attendance, yeah, so this semester, attendance today, really good, yeah, so, but here, I like to talk about the attendance policies a, a little bit, yeah, in case, yeah, because some of you probably due to certain reason you may miss one or two classes. That's possible, right? Yeah. So I understand that part. Although I have videos, even you missed a, a few classes, you can watch the videos. You know, you won't lose anything. Okay. Yeah. But I want to set some fair policy. Fair. Okay. Yeah. So fair. That means you earn this two percent in a fair way. Now, all right, so let me give you the details. Yeah. The first, yeah, every time I check the attendance, attendance, so the first type of attendance, classroom attendance. Classroom attendance, yeah, like today, each attendance is worth two points. Each, each attendance worth two attendance points, okay, for each class, all right, yeah. All right, then 
each week we have two classes, right? Each week we have two classes. So for for whole week, we have four points, attendance points each week. Okay, all right. All right. Number two type, not classroom attendance, remote attendance, okay? Remote attendance, I treat weaker than classroom attendance. I still treat as attendance, but not as strong. I try to set a fair way, okay? So it's a weaker attendance than classroom attendance, all right? So each one worth one point. Each one, one point, okay? The whole week, you can earn two points, attendance points. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, just, all right. But, but if one student, yeah, because just like Obama, that student, it may not be convenient for him due to some reason. He couldn't come to the classroom every time. Yep. So that. So I should give him a way to earn full credit for attendance, right? Yep. Some students, for some special reason, they need to access the class remotely. So I need to give them chance to earn full attendance credit, right? So I make three. Type three. Yep. If you cannot earn full attendance points, then you can choose this option number three to earn. Ask questions. Ask questions. Each question worth two points, all right? Each question worth two attendance points. Okay, yeah. So ask relative questions. Do not ask garbage questions, okay? All right, so for example, let me explain just a little bit. Yeah. For, for today's class, I just explained syllabus. So let's, you know, do not look at today. So today, everybody is fine, okay? Yeah, yeah. only one student, not here, so he cannot earn two points, yeah. Other than that student, okay? Not Lubaba, yeah, not Lubaba, yeah. So starting from next class, okay, yeah. If one student, if you just uh, attend the class remotely, yeah, then you can ask one question based on the lecture in our next class. Yeah. Relative. Related, okay, not garbage question, okay? Related, yeah. Why, why I try to make this kind of policy, yeah. Because based on my experience, uh, I have many students, they learn remotely, yeah. They want to have some freedom, want to have some flexibility, yeah. So they study the modes, in videos remotely, but I noticed many of those students, actually they didn't study. They didn't study the videos. When I grade assignments, I can see that. When I grade assignments, I can see some students, they missed so many simple questions just from notes directly. So I realized those students they didn't go through the notes. Yeah. So in order to make sure, in order to give those students some, you know, incentive, you know, so here, you need to ask relative related question. So you have to go through the video or notes a little bit. Ask some, you know, acceptable questions, okay, yeah. So in this way, yeah, I create this option number three. Yeah. Try to be fair. Yeah. 
for some reason you, you couldn't come, then you study the videos, then you need to send me some questions. Just the one, one question, two points. Yeah. For example, if a student access two classes in one week, earning these two points, then just that's the only need to ask one question to get the remaining two points. That's not too hard, right? Two lectures, you only need to ask one qu related question because I do not want to give you too much pressure. Okay? If I give you, you need to ask five questions. That's too much, too much, too much pressure for you, right? I only ask you, ask one question for two classes. It should not be too hard, okay? Yeah, so think about that. Okay, think about that, okay? But after you ask question, that also useful for the whole class. That's your questions can help the whole class study. Why? Because there is another consideration. I created this kind of policy. Yeah. Uh, several semesters ago, I tried to help students study the materials, I create a discussion forum. I create a discussion board, discussion forum. So everyone can post questions. But at the end, only one student posts questions. All other students just ignore it. Yeah, I try, try to, you know, get you engaged in that way. You ask questions, I answer question in a discussion board. Very easy for you, right? Yeah. But most students, they never, never use that. They do not, they do not take a look. They ne never use it. Here, if some student asks questions, I post in a discussion board. There, I give you the answers. Okay? Post discussion board answers. There you can study. Okay? Yeah. Help you study in that way. Also, if you ask me questions, if you send an email, ask me, I may, after I answer your question, I may move to your question to the discussion board, okay? If I feel your question is good, okay? If the, your question is, you know, yeah, you know, not appropriate for the discussion board, then I won't post. If I feel it's appropriate for other students get some special point, yeah, I may move, post in the discussion board. Anonymously, I do not say your name, okay, anonymous. Just one student asked this question, okay, then I give the answer, you know, yeah. All right, yeah, so that's for the attendance. Yeah. Then, uh, tests, two tests, midterm and the final, I, I give you the day. Yeah. Here I have to erase. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So I just put number three here. Ask questions. Okay. Yeah. Two points each. Yeah. But oh, for other students, when I create a discussion board, any student can ask questions, right? Any student you can ask questions. Yeah. Because you may have some question you want to ask. Okay? But for those students, they have to ask to earn some points. Yeah. But if you ask questions, yeah. For each week, you can only earn up to four points. You cannot earn more than four points. Okay. Yeah. Because some students, so they already have a few attendance points. Then they ask questions, reach four, but not you cannot get more than four. Okay? Yeah. Total points, four points, based on each week. Okay? Based on each week. Next week, so we count from zero. Okay? Each week, we set the counter from zero. Okay? Weekly basis. Yeah. I will create a spreadsheet. Week one attendance, week two attendance. So I will put the points, all right? After I check your attendance, 
when I go home, I will put in my spreadsheet. Okay, yeah. All right, so midterm, final, midterm, right here. Yeah, here I give you the date, Wednesday, October 18th, the same class time, 75 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but if, yeah, make a plan as early as possible for some students that time, if it's not convenient for you, you can make appointment with the university test learning center, learning and a test center. So you can, when you make appointment, you find a convenient time for you. A few days after this, you cannot do earlier than this day, but after the state after the state yeah remember that that option okay yeah. so don't worry yeah. so you can find a way yeah all right yeah then final yeah final all yeah so this time that's the fixed time official fix the time yeah if it's not convenient still make a point with the university test learning center Okay, yep. All right, any question? Any question? Yeah, looks clear. Yeah, all right, yeah. Then, yeah, I, I only have five minutes left, right? Let me check. Yeah, yeah. Uh, six minutes, five or six. Okay, all right. I just run the timeline. Yes, my PowerPoint timeline, okay. yeah. All right, yeah. Including Thanksgiving break, 16 weeks. If, yeah. So one week for Thanksgiving break and one week for final, week number 17, that's the final week. So for our regular class weeks, 15. 15 total weeks, regular classes. Okay. All right, so let me run the assignment distribution along the timeline, okay? First week, nothing, second week, nothing. Uh, but at the end of second week, quiz number one. End of second week, quiz number one. 10 questions on Canvas. Yeah, here at this point, uh, I will give you on Friday. On Friday. So that week, Friday, I post on Friday, okay? Then, the due date next Sunday, so you have a little more than one week. Yeah, a little more than one week, due date on Sunday. So, yeah, 10 questions. Okay, yeah. No time limit for the quiz, just submit before the deadline. No time limit, yeah, because there is a clock running, you can ignore, ignore that running clock, okay? I don't use that. That time timer, yeah. I do not I do not look at that timer. Okay. So yeah. So you can, but do not submit accidentally. Yeah. Every semester, a few students submit the quizzes accidentally. After you click the submit button, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Some students just did part of the questions, then sub submit by accident. Yeah. If that happens, let me know. I will fix it. I will find a solution, find a way to fix it for you. Okay? Yeah. But try to avoid that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then, Labor Day. There is a Labor Day. After two, first two weeks, Labor Day on Monday, we won't have class. Labor Day holiday. No class. Yeah. So remember that. That's September 4th. That's September 4th. Okay. All right. That's week three. Then that weekend, September 9th, Saturday, I will post our first programming project, web programming project. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Before that, I try my best to get you prepared. Okay. Yeah. But still, 
I need to post on that Saturday the project description, the whole assignment, and give you four weeks to complete it. Four weeks to complete it. All right. Then, quiz number two, week number four. Quiz two, still more than one week. Then, homework assignment number one, Thursday of week five. Thursday, week five. 25 questions. Yep. But I give you approximately, approximately, Two weeks, yeah. Why right approximately? Because I assign on Thursday, I collect on Wednesday. Yeah. Just a one day short of two weeks. One day short of two weeks. Okay? Yeah. Close to two weeks. That should be plenty. Yeah. All right, let me quickly. Yeah. I do not have enough time. Let me just run quickly. Yeah. All right. Then quiz three, week number three, uh, seven. And uh, project number two, yeah, because after project one, you already have four weeks. So project one due on Sunday, yeah. But I assign project two that same week, Saturday, one day before project one due, yeah. yeah. Because otherwise, I may not have enough time. So the small overlap, okay, small overlap, yeah. one day overlap. All right, then week eight, review for midterm. Week, week number eight, review for midterm. Okay, so I explain all the previous questions. Yeah, yeah. Then midterm, test one, midterm, Wednesday. Week number nine, Wednesday. All right, then quiz four, that week, homework assignment number two, week 10. All right, then project three, weekend of week 11. All right, yeah. Then project of to do that Sunday, week 11 that Sunday. Then before the Thanksgiving break, I need to assign you homework assignment number three before Thanksgiving break. Then after Thanksgiving break, you have one full week after Thanksgiving break. So I, so I do not give you too much pressure. So the Sunday due after Thanksgiving break, week number 15, okay? But you need to do quiz number five in that week, okay? All right, so then project three due the end of week number 16 before the final week. Then the final in week number 17, Wednesday. Final. So that's the timeline. Okay. So I try my best to stick to this timeline schedule. Yeah. As much as I can. 90 something percent. I try my best. Stick to it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Today, not at the beginning, not very smooth. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Next time. Yeah. We need to.